Hello and welcome to some 87 Legends here at Texas. It is old Texas and I'm very happy to have the chance to participate in this series because work has made it difficult to find uh, participation in these cars. Because normally I'm, uh, I'm uh, home from work, you know, past 10.30, maybe 11, or even later. And, uh, this car doesn't have the best participation, so a lot of times whenever I'm doing my late night racing, there's no one here, <laughs> and so there's no races to do. But thankfully, I just got home, and it looks like people are, have shown up, which is awesome. So I'm very happy to be here. It's, uh, you know, still not uh, crazy populated. It is single split. But I'll take what I can get. And I'm not even the one car. Because we've got Mike in here. Mike Garaguso, is that I think is how you say his name? I could be wrong. But, uh... Get him in here, so I'm not even the one car, which is awesome. But still the number two, so I mean, still high expectations from iRacing here. But, you know, we'll see what we can do. Hopefully have a good finish. Hopefully have a good clean race. Maybe we'll even get some green flag pit stops, which I'm going to practice right after I uh, do the second lap. I think the first lap's the one that counts, though, because tires fall off so quick in this car. Ticket flag, ticket flag. So far, pole. Looking good. 31... 779 is what I got. And uh, let's do a little bit of practice on the green flag pit stops. Look out for the pit speed limit. Yeah. It's pretty good. Okay. Happy with that. I feel like I can get it done if we need to do some green flag pit stops. And hopefully we'll get started here pretty soon. My camera ready for incidents later on. Hopefully we get that far. <laughs> and, uh... Alright, so yeah, single split. We've got 16 people in here though, so it's a relatively full lobby. Hopefully... Um, the less experienced guys in the back uh, can at least uh, keep it together so we can have some green flag racing. Tire saving, as usual, is going to be important here. Look, it's 95-97 just after a couple of laps, so that's going to be important. And uh, as for this stuff, I never changed the steering ratio on this car. And I put the brake bites back a little bit, just a tiny bit. So that's what I got. I can see Mike probably beating our time. For pole. A huge deal though. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. That's uh lots of Australia in here. Which is interesting. That's how you know I'm racing late at night. It's uh twelve thirty seven AM at the moment. That's what I'm saying, that's why I'm glad that uh I'm actually able to race the eighty seven car. Normally, uh, no one's racing it around this time, so. Got some Australia pings in here. We're going to have to potentially watch out for that. Mike's done to be us. Yes, he did. Just barely, though. I had a feeling. I told you. It's going to be about tire saving during the race. Hopefully, I'll be able to get that under control. I think I'll be uh, doing a tiny bit of brake on entry to get it pointed kind of near the bottom and then letting it roll quite a bit. I'll talk about it a little bit more once we actually get out there. But uh, I didn't actually get too much practice, I will say that. Uh -oh. I was like kind of thrilled when I hopped on iRacing and when I got home from work and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's people in the 87 Legends race. So I was like, let me get in here. Yeah, good man. So, 
That's the end of the session. So I only got about 10 minutes of practice. I normally like to make sure I get the full 30 minutes before a race every time I uh, join something for the first time. I don't know if this is working. But, uh, One to go. Next time by. You're on the outside this time. I think this I'm okay. I think this should be fine. I believe I've done this one other time, but it's been a while. And that might have even been New Texas. No, I think it must have been Old Texas. Did it come check? So that. Copy. Let's see here. Second last Ronald, lap. Ronald, Ronald, man, I gotta talk to you. You got DLF reality on the back of your car. You got one of their systems? What they talking about? I don't know. We don't have the data. Got Fruit Chief ready. And a good 75 no, laps I here. I don't have one. My brother does. It's, it's not bad. It doesn't seem very durable, though. So you don't think it'd hold up a 6'5", 320-pound Sasquatch like me? <laughs> no, you're probably about the same size as me. My brother's pretty small, about 170 pounds. Take my gotcha, chairs gotcha. or sim rigs or something. There's Mike next to us. Just about everyone's joined up, I think. Shouldn't be too much longer before we can start rolling. At most 30 seconds anyway. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it won't get run over from behind as I try to save tires. We got the number 12 in fourth there. You have two additional sets of tires right behind us. Have a good race. <laughs> Hopefully they don't uh, run us over or anything. Stay behind the pace car in the outside lane. And we're off. We're rolling. It's like a second gear start. We'll be able to get a good job. I feel like I start second way too much, way too often. I always have to be doing this, uh, looking to the left thing. Better give an epilepsy warning, because I'm sure it's not great to have the whole <laughs> screen flashing a different image repeatedly. So, look away if you're susceptible. I'm sorry. About to go green, stay focused. Pace car about to pull off. Okay, pace okay. car is ready. off, be ready. Let's go green, green, green. Pretty good jump there. Uh, inside already. Still there at the bottom. Clear inside. Inside. We're getting motored. Clear inside. Already. Oh, ooh, that got loose. Car inside. Stay high. All right, go Car on then. I'm trying to be patient anyway. <laughs> it is real easy to hit the wall on exit, I will say that. It sneaks up on you a little bit. This car tends to do that already. And uh, Texas has a habit of bringing your car to that outside wall as well. So, just done a an extra reason just to be a little a extra cautious. The guy behind has just done a 32.4. The car in front of lap time is a 32.2. But so far, so good. No immediate caution. That's always nice.
try to be patient on throttle. It looks like I don't need to get on it real hard in order to keep up. So that tells me that I can be, oh, I can be a little extra cautious, but so much for that. We got a caution. We think that Howard has been dead. They were definitely more uh, aggressive than me at the start. Kind of was just trying to get my bearings. And they decided to fly past me, so. 4.9 gallons. We're under caution. It's closed. 4.9 gallons. Line up single file behind car 12. Two sets of tires. I don't know about taking tires yet. If anyone ahead of me takes or goes into the pits, I will. Otherwise, I'm staying out. Would appreciate being caught up to the field, though, just in case. And by field, I mean first and second. <laughs> Not much of a field, but. Yeah, no, the point I'm trying to make. Pit road is now open. Full course yellow. Pits are open. Normally you wouldn't even dare take tires this early or anything. Gosh, they fall off so hard in this car. Who even knows? Mike might have just got a penalty. That was the ch that was the cone I think that he just hit the commitment cone. Uh oh, <laughs> that's not good. What I don't remember. What's the penalty for that? Is that a green flag pass through penalty or is it go to the back? I don't remember. I don't know if I've ever done that. I'm sure I have, but it hasn't been for a while if, if I have. I don't remember what penalty that is, but pretty sure he just got a black flag. Yikes. So like I said, I wasn't going to go in unless someone else did. But no one did, so we're going to stay out. It's fine, you got loads. It says we got loads, right. but I'm not so sure about that. It hasn't been able to calibrate yet, I don't think. We'll save just in case. I don't know. Oh. Hmm. I really don't know how much we're going to be using, how much fuel and stuff, so. I'm guessing we're not going to be able to make it. Do we have lap cars coming up here? Hopefully we don't get completely run over like last time, but still not a huge deal if we do. Get ready, going green. The pace car is off, be ready. Green flag, green flag. Green flag. Waited a long time there. My bad, Brandon. We went for the same shit at the same exact time. People running into each other already back there, apparently.
Alright, hopefully get some laps logged here though. That lap was at 34.7. I'm going to be focusing on the positioning of the car through the corner, trying to keep it low. I don't know if that's really what I want to do, but that's what I'm going to think is important. We'll see how it works out. I guess maybe Mike didn't get a penalty? Maybe he's not serving it? Well. You've just done a 32.6. It's like I'm driving in a little harder than those guys. That makes me think I can probably ease up a little bit. Yeah, now we don't. We're not making it on fuel as I thought. It was still calibrating, so don't run them over. <laughs> Got space behind. That lap time was thirty-two point eight. And let's just have a nice drive. This car's just fun to drive in general, so... Just enjoy it. Here in Texas. Keep it low on the track. I think that's where we're going to want to be. Maybe yeah, those guys up front maybe will uh, fall off a little bit. Maybe they're not being as careful with the tires. Who knows? The time was at we'll see. Tight on exit. Tells me I have to be a little bit more gentle. Making sure that I try to make a habit getting on the gas once we're most of the way through the corner. Halfway or later. I might not be doing a good job of saving the, saving the tires though, because it looks like it's getting away from us. My assumption is he's just trying to be smooth and not trying to pull away or anything, so maybe I'm not doing such a good job at this. Be shame to lose that draft we were getting. Your last lap time was at thirty-three point two. Three gallons. Three gallons. Definitely not gonna make it. I don't think anyone could. Not if it's increasing like it is now. I don't think even if we did pit for fuel we would have been able to make it, so. I think staying out was the right idea. That lap was a 33.1. What a fun car to drive, though. It's been a minute since I've uh, been able to do one of these races, and always fun to drive, no matter where you are. Very different from what, a lot of what we've got on iRacing. 
always kind of drives a little bit weird, you know. It's because it's kind of bouncing all over the place, I guess. I don't know. It's fun, though. Force feedback is always super crazy in this car, too. I usually end up putting mine down quite a bit. Like, for example, my, my normal force speed feedback, what, I'm, what I run in most cars now, is usually like 6 point whatever, and that's going to be different depending on what wheel you have and stuff. But relative to my other races, where it's about 6 range, I've got it mine at 3.8, <laughs> so about half of what I normally have. And that's because you feel just about everything when you're driving this thing. It's rocking around, bumping all over the place. And uh, it's a little distracting, so... I still got it, I can still feel it. But it's just a little... a little weaker, so I can focus. <laughs> it's not trying to yank out of my hands or anything crazy. But, so uh, I've been just trying to keep a consistent pace, and it looks like we've reeled Mike back in a little bit more. That might be a good sign that we're doing good things. I don't feel like I've pushed any harder, I've just been trying to be consistent. And the car still feels pretty good. So I like where that's headed. That last light was a 33.2, good consistency, keep them coming. It's being gentle on the throttle. Got some of the draft again, which is always nice. Making sure the car's pointed towards the bottom. Ooh, leader's blinking. Someone in their house started downloading something. <laughs> oh god, is that happening to me? I'm looking at my L bar on the top right and it was starting to do things. Who's in my house is downloading something? Hold on a second now. Hopefully that hasn't been happening the whole time. Hopefully if I'm blinking or something, someone will let me know. And uh, I'll avoid any close racing for a while. Keep my distance. I don't want to ruin anyone else's race because of my suspect internet or anything. So Mike has caught up to the 12 here. Is he going to go pass right away? Well, washes up the track. They might be having tire troubles. Looks like Mike's gonna get by him real easy. Ooh, closes the door there. That was a little close. Oh okay, god, he's gonna hit him. Car is he's trying to cross over for some reason. That's dangerous. If a guy reaches you on better tires like that, I'm not, not sure you're gonna accomplish much by doing that uh, crossover. That was, uh, it's kind of like a three. desperation move you do, you do near the end of the race. Where you're like, oh, I want to try to get the position back. Force him into a mistake. So, uh, what will be next? Looks like we'll have to find our way around him here in a moment. Hopefully it'll be an easy task if he's pushing up the track. The leader up there has been holding pretty consistent. Maybe falling off a little bit, but not as hard as this 12. If he did that on purpose or not, I'm gonna get by him pretty easy here. Outside, clear. Judging by the way he tried to cross over Mike before, I'm thinking that maybe he just overdrove it a little bit, his tires are a little worn and he wasn't letting us by but I could be wrong maybe he learned from the last time that it was a futile effort decided to just let us by I'd say thank you but it's like a little insulting if he didn't mean to let me by and I'm like hey thanks man and he's like I didn't mean to let you go accidentally insult the guy. If you did let me buy, I appreciate it. Our 
car still feels pretty good. Frames feel less good. I'm getting a little weird here for a second. Oh my god, what's happening? Getting stuttery frames. Made me overdrive the corner. Not to make excuses, but... Ah, stop it. Why is this happening? You've just done a 33.4. Oh my gosh. I don't know if that's coming across on the video, but it's kind of distracting. Okay, I think it's better now. Not a big fan of that. You've just done a 33.4. Suddenly, seems like Mike is pulling away from us again. B3. Leader kind of took a weird line through the corner. Maybe they overdrove it a little bit on the entry and kind of did a weird cut down near the exit. And it just looks strange. Maybe they're trying to prepare for this lap car. Who we will hopefully. Oh boys, I've officially ate them up. I hopefully get by without issue. Outside. Clear outside. Oh, didn't compromise the corner all too much. That's good. Your lock time was 33.5. By the way, okay. lost in all this Consistency. racing talk is the fact that we're racing. <laughs> Green flag laps, I love it. Two point six gallons. Point six gallons. That's a little too much to save. I believe. We'll keep checking in on it. When do we pit, is the question. I think I'm just going to have to react to what the two guys in front of us do. We'll see what, what they decide. But it would be bad to get caught a lap down. Something. If a caution comes out, so... Nice rotation there, getting close to the uh, apron. What happened to the uh, Ronald, 12? Ronald, are, uh, are you comfortable with me pushing you down these back streets or no? Oh god, they're above drafting. Yeah, I'm just saving everything. Bump drafting in Texas. I guess. Oh, Maybe it didn't work though. <laughs> Who goes any uh, thoughts of strategy? What happened in the 12? Did they fall off that hard? All the way back in 8th? Hmm. So obviously we're coming in now. Do we do the two tire thing? Hmm. Pit road is now open. Full course yellow. Pits are open. Do we do the two tire thing? Is it too early for that? <sighs> oh man. I'm always so indecisive. These cars are actually mad fun around this track. They were fun last week around the 
North Wilkesboro, too. Yeah, this car's great. The lead car's pitting. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Pit lane speed four, limit I guess. is 50 miles per hour. We'll fill you to the end of the race. Pit box team, 10. Five. Nah, take it two. Three, two, one. Right here. Slow into the box, but that's fine. So the reason... Okay, go. The reason I'm okay doing this you only is because have traditionally Line up, single file. Okay, this car actually go. is faster when you take two tires. It's probably not accurate, but... History has shown that is the case. We'll see how it turns out. I'm not worried about blowing the left sides or anything crazy like that. Four course yellow, pits are open. I'll be able to get the jump on the start here. And maybe the track position will be good if they start wrecking a bunch. You got plenty of fuel. We're good on fuel now. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Do we have lap cars coming up on the left side. It's a single file right now. I think it always does though until we get to one to green. We'll see if this is a mistake or not. Maybe something's changed. Always remember two tires being a surprisingly good strategy. Wish that wasn't the case. I wish it was more, it was more realistic because I know for a fact back in 1987 they weren't taking two tires to be faster. <laughs> but uh, I think it's something about just the way it gets the car a little looser, it's helps open. it turn better, something something. I don't know exactly why it happens. I bet if I racing did know why it happened, they'd probably try to fix it, but one left to green. Get ready. Line up on the I'm gonna have to be careful. So I did get loose at the start of the race on the cold tires, and now I'm going to have two tires, right side tires, which typically makes the car even more loose, so I'm really going to have to be careful here. There's a couple of corners. Don't do anything stupid. Oh, Getting the jump's valuable, though. About to oh, go cool. green. Stay oh, the pace car is in. Green flag. Green flag. You're in first. Okay, right, good. That's half distance. Fuel levels don't are spin. Hey, you. You being me. Don't spin. Okay. They pushed so much harder than me, though. Caught up a little bit. Well, a little bit more. I don't want to get freight trained like I did before, even if I do want to try to keep the tires on this thing. Good consistency. Keep them coming. That feels good. Okay.
a little bit of space and then we will be a little nicer to the tires. That last lap was at 32.2. The guy behind has just done a 32.2. And plenty of good rotation in the exit of the corner, I like that. You're now in the lead. So far so good. We'll see how the car behaves later in the rut with our two tires only. So far so good. Well that was a 32.5. He's back there, though, lurking. I'm certainly not pulling away by any means, but... Got the trap position. The all-valuable track position. corner there. Bad corner there or something. <laughs> Going from point one to point three. I didn't see what happened if something happened. Just done a I just had a good corner. I don't know. That was a 32.8. A little wide on exit. Caution, yellow charge. Line up single file. Big roads are closed. Line up single file. Interesting. We're under caution. Pits are closed. We think Ericsson has binned it. Ericsson has binned it. What do you do that for? That stings, he was running pretty good, I think. Not burning my tires off during caution. <laughs> and then the pace car. Not looking to change tires right now. Pit road's open. Pits are open. Unless, like, the whole field behind me goes, and then... Then maybe I reconsider, but... For now, I'm gonna be up here, making it clear that I do not plan to pit. They can take that how they wish. Mike does not pit. It looks like some split decisions. A little farther back in the field. So we got the six that goes in. Sixteen and the seven. Car fifteen got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. Um, there may or not may not be some of those guys that have damage from whatever happened in the wreck. Hard to say. I'm gonna be feeling pretty good about having this track position though. You had the position when the these wrecks continue. Out. As I always say in these 87 Legends races, because um, there's no green-white checkers, they can, the end of them can sneak up on you. If you start getting these cautions, 
know, take a chunk out of the green flag laps a little bit every time you get those, uh, get the yellow flag, and suddenly it can end on you right away. So. Full course yellow, pits are open. We'll hopefully be able to get another good jump here. We'll see how we hold up. I honestly don't know if this is a good or bad thing for our pace. Maybe it's good because our tires will cool down now. Maybe that'll serve to even things out a little bit. Guys behind. Or maybe it's bad because he's going to be right on my bumper um, with his better tires, but he kind of was already. So my guess would be that this is a good thing. Especially if it's going to be reducing the number of green flag laps I have to run. I think either way, I'm going to have to fight hard to keep them behind me. That was always going to be the case. So I like to go early, but I don't want them to predict it. So I'm usually reacting to what they're doing behind me. You kind of want to try to catch them going from forward momentum to having to slow down. If that makes sense. Like, you don't want them to have forward One momentum. Whenever you jump, okay, Colton, then you're not going to get as good of a jump on them. So you kind of want to catch them, you know, doing a pull-up thing like into the pace car here, and then when they get to this point where they have to slow down, then that's when you jump. So I kind of want to try to catch them doing that. Oh, high 14. <laughs> we got a lap car up here. Exciting. Hope they know that they don't control the field. It's my job. Green, stay focused. The pace car is off, be ready. If he jumped, green flag, green flag. could have been better. Could have been worse. Well, let's not give it all up here in the first corner, maybe. Wow, the one missed the corner or something. Yikes. Maybe it was a better jump than I thought. <laughs> We're quickest right now. You've just done a 33.3. Like all that space I've got all of a sudden. Got room to work with. I will anticipate he'll be back soon. Gosh, he's catching up real quick. We might be uh, not so concerned about saving now because he's worried about you know, the flags coming out. He's thinking, I gotta get this track position now. In which case, I might have to fight him a little bit. 
if he gets up here. In case where I have to prevent him from finding himself up front. I'll silver drove that. I think I got it under control though. You've just done a 32.6. Bottom. It's been working so far, I think. <laughs> For better or worse, it brought me here, along with the strategy call. So I'm going to keep doing it. Twenty to go. Still lots of racing to do. Pretty good corner. He's really hanging on to us, though. He's not going anywhere. Okay, Colton. The lap times are pretty consistent. You have a gap back to third. Which is nice. The last 87 race I did was the Heartbreaker at Dover. God, I hope it doesn't happen again. Let me not jinx myself, though. Though I guess it's a little late for that, because I already said it. Although I guess jinxing would be like, oh, that's not going to happen again, right? That would be jinxing it, but instead I said I hope that doesn't happen again. I don't know. It's probably all not good, if you believe in that sort of thing. I don't actually, but... It's funny to talk about. He might just be hanging out back there letting me burn my tires off or something. Might just be the conspiracy theorist in me, though. <laughs> it's like, oh, he's intentionally holding it to three-tenths back. So that way I burn my tires off and then he's gonna... Sorry, David, I don't know what happened there. Take me. Are you bringing out yellow flags back there? Hope not. What is our time compared to all-time best? We're about a second off. I'm checking because I'm interested. How is that not a yellow? I don't know, because someone turned me coming out of two as well. That's a wrecking. It's probably slide. Be back to session last lap and I overdrove it. I'm like, I should be focusing on the track, not on anything else. I'm about a second slower. Hmm. Just thinking. That's good consistency. It's good to know, though, if, uh, if the caution comes out, whether I need to take tires or something. But I think it's too late in the race to do that. And fourth, we got Charlie, Charlie Brown, back there in the number five. I've raced him a number of times. He's usually, he's usually a during these late times. I've raced them both on in road racing and in uh, an oval. I think he's like that lap time was, or at, was at one time or something a spotter. 
in NASCAR. Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. I think he is. Or was. I don't know. I don't know the story, but... I think I remember going to his profile page once and he had something about that on there. Oh, he's cut it to two tenths behind us. Oh, it's definitely getting tighter. I'm not going to be able to hold on to it. The lap time was at 33.0. The vapor there to get it turned. That was risky. I don't even think it helped. Classic self sabotage from yours truly. It wasn't that bad. It was about the same as a normal corner. Just feel okay. Is it time to long? It's making me nervous. He's back there. He is right there. I think I might have to uh, start easing off a little bit more into turns three and four. It's starting to feel a little bit too tight in center. Okay, Colton, lap times are pretty consistent. Ooh, less than ten to go at this point. I can only hope that he's having to drive hard right now in order to keep up with me and he's not going to all of a sudden turn on the turbo and get past me. Right on that white line. Good corner. That felt good. That was a thirty-three point zero. Ooh, we're just trying to be as precise as possible. Those tires real close to that white line, but don't cross it. Right on the edge, but don't fall off. So to speak, another good corner. Feeling good in three and four right now. This thing might be coming alive. <laughs> Crazy, but I'm seeing green on the session last lap. It's back to point three behind. happy with how this is feeling right now. Just gotta keep it together. Oh, he had a good corner there, I think. Oh, he might have gotten the wall, though, on exit. I think it affected him much, though.
Alright, here we go. Three to go. Caution now. By the way, we'll end the race. Wondering. Oh, a little tight on exit. I didn't have to lift, but it still kind of scrubbed off a little bit of speed, I think. Despite my missed marks, though, this thing almost feels like it's coming alive right now. You've got two I think it's safe to say, at least relative to this race, this strategy for the tires has worked. Worked well enough for me here, at least. He is now falling off behind us. He might have had to turn on the turbo. And it's all out of juice. Because we're on a white flag. I'm feeling pretty good. Boys, I just randomly got the meatball flag for repairs, and I didn't hit anything. Anybody have any idea what the fuck happened to my car? My car. Oh, what the fuck? You fired the dog. <laughs> Overdrive the final corner. I'll be just for fun, apparently. Man. But, uh. Oh, you got, you got we got out. it! Yes! Well done, Colton. Great win. You Yay! Texas. I think I have more wins at Texas than any other track on iRacing. To tell you the truth, I love it here. <laughs> Both new and old configuration. I know, I know. Everyone hates it. Fight me, though. It's good. <laughs> Good race. <laughs> it's giving me a congrats, I think. Don't mind me, boys. Flat tire man coming <laughs> through the fucking front stretch, you know? <laughs> he gave me a congratulatory tap. Mike's real nice. It's always good racing him. Now, we've got tires left to waste. <laughs> oh, now, now it's telling us, no you don't, stop it. <laughs> Woo, I feel good about this one. That was fun. First race back in the 87 in a while, and I was able to get it. I know, low strength of field probably, but, uh, hey, I'll take it. Let me have it. <laughs> Let me have this one. Oh, this car feels weird. The tires are nuclear right now. <laughs> well, how about I was going to do a little bit of driving, but feels like I'm driving on noodles. So, <laughs> all right. We were able to hold Mike off. Was able to, I think, keep it at just the right pace in order to stay in front of him. And uh, keep the tires on it well enough. I'd show you the tires, but they're going to be different now that I... Did burnouts. But, uh, fantastic. The two-tire stop absolutely worked. I recommend it if you're going to race this car, at least until they update it. It works quite well in most cases. And, uh, it was a fun race. Always fun just driving this car. Let's take a look and see what happened out here. You getting a bad jump on the start passed a couple times. What we got on lap three? Just a blink? Oh no. Looping it on the outside. Unfortunately, the 14 gets connected. Or gets collected. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, just a, a, up a groove higher, I guess, there. Maybe into some of the dirty stuff. It just loops on them. Maybe the tires are still a little bit cold, I don't know. But it sure broke on them, broke loose on them, and unfortunately there was someone there to catch them. Now we got tires popping off cars. Yeah, from this guy. 
Here goes the right front. Interesting place near the wall, in the tri-oval. I can see it though, if you're going to enter the tri-oval from that angle. Baby tear the wall, that's nothing. 14 still out after having the trouble. Classic scheme in the Haveline. Scratching it up though. There's the 12. Where did the uh, 12 end up? Oh no! They must have been in a wreck or something. That stinks. They were having a good run. Maybe we'll see what happened to them in a minute. Wayne's scratching it up a little bit, but gets it back under control. I'm not sure what we're seeing here. A whole lot of nothing. I <laughs> got some blockbuster. Weird, like, offset on the bumper. Interesting. Fourteen's gonna be blinking. We're gonna see what happened to the 12. No, not so much. Maybe blew a tire. Going pretty slow through that corner. Might have blown a tire and had to pit or something, and that might have ruined his race. Yeah, that's a blown tire. That's not turning at all. Ooh, scary. So they might have had to come in during the green flag. Or maybe, uh didn't respond to the meatball flag in time and got himself a worse penalty. Because I do believe if you don't come in to serve... Oh no, what's happening up there? I think uh, if you don't come in to serve your uh, blown tire, then they give you a worse penalty after a few laps, but it looks like this might have been what actually happened. The car's not turning because of the blown tire. It completely gives up on him and he comes off and hits the nine. He slams on the brakes. I think he just quit right away after that. He probably was uh, felt feeling bad about it. I've been there before. I hope he doesn't feel too bad. It was an honest mistake. He had a blown tire. So if by the off chance you're watching this, it was an honest mistake. I know I'm kind of talking for the guy that got wrecked, but I just I relate so much with that. What that looked like, like causing a wreck and then going through the apron, slamming on the brakes, and immediately leaving. Whether it's out of shame or embarrassment or something. If I'm reading that correctly, like I've been there. And I hope they uh, aren't discouraged from continuing to race. Tangent over. That guy hits the wall. Seven's already out of control when we join this wreck in progress. Breaks loose on him up there. And uh, isn't able to gather it up. Oh my god! <laughs> that was close! Ooh, okay, maybe not as close as I thought. It was still pretty darn close. Ooh, scary. Eleven into the wall. Eleven into the wall. <laughs> so nice, I said it twice. Ooh, it's the wall a little weirdly on uh, entry, but didn't cause too much problems here. Oh, that's a net code. That stinks. That's just close racing in net code. That probably happened because Australia versus Canada. That's why I, that's why I point out the pings and stuff, because that kind of thing can happen. It's amazing that a guy on the other side of the world can race that close to another guy on the other side of the world to begin with. So I'm not one of those people that gets too crazy upset about netcode type stuff like this, because it's incredible that we can do this in the first place. But it is very much a shame when it happens like that. I like that old Jeff Burton looking scheme too. Exide. Up 61. Tires are getting older at this point. Which means uh, 
The wall hits on exit might ramp up a little bit. I think the 11 mentioned having a blown tire. They uh, had not known what it meant. I think they were the one that was asking about it. Saying like, oh I got the meatball flag. And I didn't touch anything. what that is. If that ever happens to you, if you get a meatball flag and you didn't touch anything, it means you blew your most likely right front tire. And you'll know for sure whenever your car stops turning. What did I do? Man, he was right there. Mike was right there behind us. I think that was probably my tire hitting 50%. I think it updates whenever that happens. Or it, it produces an incident, I mean. So I think maybe a lot of people are going to start hitting 50%. So I'm going to see a whole lot of nothing for a second. He's a little blown his tire at this point. Maybe. If not, he's close. Is Mike trying to get to us. Only a couple laps to go. He was there. He was keeping up with us. It's always interesting after doing a whole race from inside the cockpit to kind of see what it looks like on the outside. Very happy with how, uh, how my method worked there, the line I was taking. It was lower than everybody else was seeming to be doing, but I think it worked out. I mean, even after the burnouts. 41, 48's not too bad. I guess I can't say anything about that, though, because I don't know how the burnouts affected the tires, so... There's nothing I can really gain from looking at that, but it felt pretty good to me. Can I hit the wall? No. Different tire hitting 50, maybe. Teen's a little higher on the track. Experiencing tight race car. Whoa! That got weird. I think what was happening there is this guy ahead. Is either has it either blown a tire, or got really close, and had to get really off of it in order to not hit the wall. And uh, 16 was going to hit him, so he had to hit the brakes pretty hard, and he locked him up, and ended up in the wall. Third, oh wow, third place was far back. I didn't realize how far back they were. Seven seconds. I guess that's not as far. But, uh, <laughs> there's Mike trying everything he can. He's like trying to get every little ounce out of it at this point. He's trying to hit that apron and. Get it turning. You never really uh, tell he was giving it his all. Wouldn't expect any less. And Charlie cruising around to the white flag, finishing off a nice run. Whoa, a little bit of wall there. Kept it under control. Routine's gonna find himself some wall. Blockbuster. Hitting 50% maybe. Ooh, that looks like a blown tire actually. They blew a tire. <laughs> and then there's me celebrating. Because uh, I'm very happy. I was a uh, low strength of field, like I said, but I did beat Mike, who's uh, higher eye rating than I am. And, uh, plenty of guys fighting. We were fourth for a good part of the race. Two tire strategy really worked out for us, though. Got us the track position. And, uh, didn't hurt us too much, so. That's that. It was a fun one. Glad to be back in the 87 cars. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. And I appreciate you watching. I hope to see you again next time. See ya.